Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about how to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators using cross multiplication. You may recall that when we want to add and subtract fractions, we need to make sure they have a common denominator. If they don't, we need to find one. Using cross multiplication is one of the ways we can do this. Let's look at an example. Let's add 3 eighths and 1 fourth. To add them, we need to find a common denominator. Let's find a fraction that is equal to 1 fourth that has a denominator of 8. We need to find the right number that goes in the spot, which we can call x for now. To figure out what x is, we can use cross multiplication. You may recall that in cross multiplication, we multiply the opposite diagonal sides times each other and set that equal. So in this case, we will have 1 times 8 is equal to 4 times x. Now we can solve for x. 1 times 8 is 8, and 4 times x is 4x. We divide both sides by 4, and the 4's cancel out, and we get 2 is equal to x. So now we know that x is 2, and therefore 1 fourth is equal to 2 eighths. This will help us solve our original problem. We can substitute 2 eighths for 1 fourth, and that'll give us 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. And now we can add across since they have a common denominator. 3 plus 2 is 5, so we get 5 eighths. Now let's do another example with subtraction. Suppose we need to subtract 7 ninths minus 2 thirds. Again, we can use cross multiplication to find a common denominator. We have 2 thirds, and we want to find a fraction equal to that with a denominator of 9. So we can go ahead and call this x, and use our cross multiplication. When we multiply opposite diagonals, we'll get 2 times 9 is equal to 3 times x. Now again, we can go ahead and multiply 2 times 9 is 18, is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. 3's cancel out, and we're left with 6 is equal to x. Since we know that x is equal to 6, we can rewrite 2 thirds as 6 ninths. So now our problem is 7 ninths minus 6 ninths. And since we have common denominators, we can go ahead and subtract across and get 1 ninth. So that's how we use cross multiplication to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Thanks for watching!